my condition so bad that my life is a bit more sheltered. You can say what you want, do what you want, be who you want, and we don't care. I think I'm ready to bring the real carry out instead of hiding in the shadows. I was diagnosed about three years ago with uh, fibromyalgia and uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. The everyday like struggles for me are the pain in my spine that always happens when I get up. It can be very debilitating, but there's, there's really no cure for it. I, I think I started escaping reality through art, and I think that's what started off my cosplay. What I love about cosplay is that you can be someone else. I wear a lot of different looks and nothing really speaks to me as myself. This is not about shoehorning someone into some fashion trend. We're not trying to make anybody fit in. What we're trying to do is find out whatever's going on the inside and reflect that out onto the outside. So you're ready for a big change? Yeah. When I fir uh, first got with my other half, I was healthy, I was myself. I kind of gave him an ultimatum when I got diagnosed. I said to him, leave me, because I was so ill. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. And he didn't leave me. The fibro breaks me down. <laughs> it breaks me down so much. And this is why I wanted to do this. I wanted to show people that they can be them true selves when, when they have an illness. I'm in, a sh I'm in my shell at the moment. I just go, like, hide. Because I do costuming, I always hide whoa, behind whoa, the character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Costuming. Tell me about that. that... I am a cosplayer. Oh, my God, how fun. <laughs> do you feel yourself, or is it like an escapism from yourself? I'm escapism. Okay. It's definitely escapism. I would love to let that shine through yeah. so that you get to feel that small about escapism kind of every day. It's so great that we have the opportunity to express ourselves through costume. But my job is about helping people find their real character. I do actually need to know a bit about your hair. You said you might give me a bit of free reign on this colour, eh? So what does that mean? What sort of colours are in the spectrum? I like fire. I think fire colours are absolutely oh. beautiful. I'm thinking a sunset, tequila sunrise, blend of all colours together, like a fire sunset tequila. I'm so excited. Are you ready to find you? OK, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Before we start with any of those beautiful, vivid colours, I guess you know this is going to start with quite a lot of bleach. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Are you used to spending this much time looking in front of the mirror? The confidence, I've got, I've got a mirrored wardrobe at home and I have to cover it because I can't look at myself. The condition affects my self-esteem a lot. I find that I've put on weight. I'm a bit fed up of being just plain old me. When's the last time you remember looking in the mirror and liking looking in the mirror? To be honest, the only time I like to look in the mirror is when I'm in cosplay. And oh, let me change that, Kerry, let me change that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my God. Hair and makeup shouldn't be able to have this power, but it does. And if you just do something that makes you love what you're looking at in the mirror, it is amazing what it can do to your mind. Because you came in in black. Yeah. Do you feel ready to have more colour? Uh, yeah, I'm very, I love bright colours, so that's a really big thing for me. I love having colour on my hair and I'm such a colourful person normally. Like, at the moment, I am so far from that in my life. I'm so drab and just bleh. <laughs> I should be going bowling on next Tuesday and I'm, I'm not sure if I want to. I used to love bowling uh, and I don't, can't do it anymore because... Physically? I to, yeah, I have yeah. to use the, the kiddie rail. Yeah. It feels like I'm cheating yeah. the, for bowling. 
I want to bring your cosplay into real life because I think it's a shame that you're saving all the best parts of you for a small period of your time. Yeah. And I want to bring all the best parts of you to all of your life. All right, darling, are you ready? This is going to be your amazing new colour. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? What? Look at that. Wow. Look at that. You don't need a wig anymore, love. Absolutely not. That's all you. Thank you. It's so good. I'm so happy. Tell me... Tell me about Kerry's everyday style. Like, what you put on every day. Talk me through your wardrobe. My wardrobe? Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, it's just like pajamas or onesies or just really like jeans and t-shirt. The colours I normally wear are like blacks, very black, very bland. Yeah, there's a lot of black in my wardrobe. I, I would love to have colour come back into my life. Just generally want to be in something that's flamboyant. Enough over the top that people turn their heads. Who are your style icons? I've got a lot of style Talk icons. Talk me through them. Uh, I love like the old divas, like the old Hollywood, uh, like Elizabeth Taylor, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I'm thinking with the hair that Sophia's giving you, I'm thinking some kind of like phoenix rising from the ashes yes. kind of colour palettes. Yes. Do you reckon that would be your vibe? Oh, yes. <laughs> the dream would be to be my persona, which is Diva K. I want to bring the diva back. So diva K is my cosplay name. So we're going to take you from diva of cosplay to Kerry every day. How does that sound? That's amazing. I'm That's amazing. so excited. Same. <laughs> Let me talk to you about styling. You told me you don't want your hair cut, and I don't think you should. I think we should do you a full set of beautiful, long extensions. Oh, my God. I would really like a vibrant, bright, colourful hairstyle that will really make people turn their heads. What do you think, my love? It's, it's like fire. Yeah. That's amazing. They're going in. OK. All right. <laughs> what is your style of makeup? Give me, give me a little sign. What's uh, your style? My everyday is not wearing any. <laughs> I, I don't wear makeup every day. I do eyeliner, but my because my hands tremor because of the fibro. I do it very, very rarely. I love glam. I love glitter. I love. I so love... you're talking my language. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking my language. Yeah. To be a diva, you need to be able to rock a red lip, and I think you can do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? That's <laughs> I'm really going to accentuate your Cupid's bow because it is, I just love it. It's cute. And it's going to give you a, like a much fuller lip effect. Wait, do you have a Cupid's bow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't hide it. <laughs> When you have a chronic illness, it just takes over your life and it can strip away your identity. When I'm in character, I feel different. I feel powerful. I feel like I can do anything. I would love some magical cosplay in my everyday life. So much has gone into this look and I just don't think there's anyone that deserves it more than Carrie right now. Kerry, we wanted to bring out the colour that was on the inside to the outside, and I think we might have found your new identity. So, when you're ready, in three, two, one, open your eyes. 
It's just amazing that this can happen with, with someone like me. I feel confident again. I feel ready to go out into the world and go like, hey, look at me again. Oh, bless her, she couldn't speak. It was so sweet. I never realised I could look like this. I found my true identity and I'm going to flaunt it as much as I can. <laughs> This look is exactly what she wanted, led by her. That's what makes this makeover so special.